Hey everybody, Cindy here. I'm back to share um, some how to make some coffin embellishments for my making embellishments series. And these are some of them that I made. Aren't they cute? So this little guy has tiny little googly eyes. They're not googly, they're just gems. And then this one has the larger ones. So I'll just show you the different ones I made and then we will get started. Aren't they cute? I love these. For my scrapbooking, card making, you can add these to a tag, whatever you'd like. Okay. So the stamp set that I used is this Miss Sparkle and Company stamp set called Trick or Treat. And I got this from Joann's, I want to say last year, but it might have been the year before. And for the skull and bones, I use this one. And then the Trick or Treat sentiment down here. And I just cut it all out. And then I'm using some Studio G black gems for the eyes. And I stamped out the skull and crossbones with um, this dye ink from Paper Tray Ink, and it's called Fine Linen. I love this color. And you can get these smaller sizes if you want to sample the different colors, and they also offer um, the larger sizes as well. So you can get the little or the small. just depends what you're looking for. And then I also used some Tim Holtz Distress Ink Black Soot. And I stamped my skull and crossbones, cut it out, and then I just went around it with the black soot. And I did that as well for the trick or treat. Needs a little more there. And then I backed it up with some foam tape for dimension. So those are all ready. And then let me get my, I also have this kind of glittery orange jelly roll pen that I'm gonna use. And then to create the black part of your coffin, the base piece here, you need a piece that measures three by two inches. Okay, and you're gonna line it up. The top corner here, is going to go past your cut line over into this section and you're going to put that at the half inch mark. So find the half inch past your cut line and put that corner there and then over here the bottom right hand corner goes on the one inch cut mark. So bottom right one, top right, past the cut line to the half inch make your cut. You're going to flip it around and do the same thing. Top right hand corner half inch past the cut line. Bottom right hand corner you want to get it over to your inch on this side. And cut. Now you're going to line up the point here that you just made, this one right here, that's going to go on your cut line. And then your bottom right hand corner, you're going to take it over to the half inch mark. Let's find the half inch, there we go. So point on the cut line, this one goes to the half inch mark, close your cutter, make your cut. You're going to flip it over. This point here goes on your cut line. This bottom right goes past the cut line to the half inch mark. Close your cutter and trim it. Oh. Finish that off with my scissor there because it didn't quite go through. There we go. 
Okay, so now you have your base piece for your coffin. And you're going to want a mat piece for the top. This measures two and three quarter by one and three quarter. And you're going to do the same exact cuts you did for here. So your top right hand corner goes past your cut line to the half inch, bottom right to the one inch. And cut. Flip it over, half inch past the cut line, and one inch over here. And then you're going to work with your points again. The point here goes on your cut line. The bottom right hand corner goes to your half inch mark past the cut line. Cut. Same thing. This corner goes on the cut line, the bottom right hand corner past the cut line to the half inch mark. Okay, so now we have our cuts. I'm going to get this out of the way. And then what I did is I got some of this, um, it's gray, like a gray color from the Dollar Tree, some of this netting. I'm just going to lay it right over the black piece of the coffin. And then I'm going to take this piece here. And I'm going to add some hot glue to the edges. A little bit in the middle. And then I'm going to lay that right on top. around it with my finger here and I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to start trimming the edges kind of pull it out a little bit see where you want to cut it So it ends up like that. And I'm going to push this aside. And I have my little skull here. Peel the backing off. And then line him up at the top. And then my trick or treat. off the little backs here I'm going to line that up across the bottom and then I took my orange jelly roll and I made three little dots on the top piece of the banner and three little dots on the bottom piece of the banner there. I'm going to get out my gems. And I think I have enough that I can add the bigger eyeballs. I like them both. I like the tiny ones and I like the large. Push those down. And that's it guys, that's how I made my little kind of skull trick or treat coffin embellishments. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have fun making yours if you give these a try. And happy crafting!